Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be going over the fastest way to get your hunter rank leveled up. Now this might not be the best way to get materials for endgame stuff like augmenting, but it is going to be the best way to get your hunter rank leveled up if that is something that you're looking forward to. Whether it's getting to hunter rank 50 so that you can get to augmenting, or if you're just looking to quickly get to hunter rank 100 so you get the achievements, and then you're going to start farming stuff from there. But this is going to be the fastest way to do it. I've done a bunch of testing, and this is irrefutably the best way. It might not be the most exciting way, but it is going to be the fastest way, and that's what I'm here to show you. So, um, I did a bunch of tests pre-Hunter Rank 50, and then I did some tests with the actual Elder Dragon quest, which I actually ran out of now. Uh, I've already done all the quests that I had, and I have not been able to get any more investigations yet. There is a trick for it, uh, but I haven't actually recorded that episode, and kind of been saving it for that. Um, but we'll go over some of the footage that I've recorded, and we'll go over what exactly you're going to do. Now first we're going to go over why I do not think doing the Tempered Elder Dragons is the quickest way to level up. For this particular quest, it took just over uh, 16 minutes and 25 seconds to clear. Now this was with a group, so the monster does have more health. Now my fastest time was 10 minutes. But that's not including the 60 second kill timer as well as the waiting for the quest to load um, back at base as well as the time it takes to actually load into the zone. Now you can see here that we got a decent amount of hunter rank but I've got something much better. Now here we have a Jagras hunt that was 2 minutes and 16 seconds which is my slowest hunt. My fastest was a minute and 5 seconds. And as you can see, we get quite a bit of hunter rank just for that quest. Now you'll see uh, that once you compare the hunts, that the Jagras hunt gives about a sixth of the experience as the Elder Dragon hunt, but you can do it in a fraction of the time. The Jagras hunt took 2 minutes, whereas the Deora took 16 minutes. These are my worst case scenarios. So you can do the Jagras hunt 8 times before you can do the Deora hunt 1 time in a worst case scenario. Now in a best case scenario, I'm able to kill a Deora in about 10 minutes, whereas I'm able to kill a Jagras in 1 minute. So I can do 10 Jagras quests in the time it takes me to do my best Deora quest, which means I can theoretically get about 40% more experience by farming Jagras over Deora. And I don't stand a chance of dying to Jagras, I don't have to spend time getting food, and I don't have to spend time loading the quest each time because there's a trick that you're going to be using to quickly get in and out of the, or to quickly get into the hunts for the Jagras, which will drastically improve the amount of time it takes. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stock up on Jagras Investigations. Now it doesn't matter if they're hunt or capture, you're going to capture the Great Jagras regardless uh, because you're going to save time because it takes 60 seconds to recover from a uh, kill quest where it only takes 20 seconds to recover from a hunt or from a capture quest. Now the reason you want to stock up on these and have them all activated is because you don't want to waste time loading in and out of Astera going back to the forest because once you actually post your Jagras quest, you can re-up those while you're out there. So we can do this five times there. I've got a couple others that I'm going to be doing as well. And then um, I've got a couple dual ones with uh, Anjanath and Jagras, with both are very easy to kill for me. Um, I highly recommend just doing the Jagras one, as the dual quests do take longer, and the benefit isn't substantial. So I would recommend stacking as many regular Jagras quests as possible, and then once you have them, just go ahead and go to the forest, and then you can continuously do this with a very small loading screen. You don't have to get food. It is very, very quick. This is where it takes time when you're actually going to and from Astera, is actually loading the quest itself, and then you have to load the quest again, or then you have to actually load the map. Now, you can do the same thing with the Elder Dragons, um, but a lot of times it's hard to stock up on the Elder Dragon quests. Um, so if you have, you know, five 
uh, Deora quests, you can go ahead and just stay in the forest and not have to go get food and stuff like that, and you can do the same thing. Uh, but it's a lot harder to keep a large amount of tempered Elder Dragon quests as it does to have Jagras quests. Now, once you've done it again, we're just going to go ahead and run out. The Jagras is going to be right in the same spot. Don't follow the bugs because the bugs don't know what they're doing when you're doing this really quick. I don't know why. They always think the Jagras is where the Jagras isn't. So just completely ignore the freaking fireflies. I don't know what it is. They might actually take me to the right spot this time. Uh, but it is always pretty 99% of the time it's in this one spot. It'll be walking through this tunnel, like, as you get to it. It's pretty ridiculous. And there it is. Now, you'll notice that you'll get a lot of investigations while actually going through this. A lot of these will be Jagras ones, or there'll be some others. Um, but I highly recommend doing it with Jagras. Zitsiyaku is another one that's pretty good to do this with. Um, so if you got a lot of those quests, you can stun lock them in the mushrooms, and it takes about the same amount of time. Although the run is a little bit longer, so it takes just a little bit longer from that. I just want to be careful not to kill it. I think that's the hardest part about this, is just making sure you don't kill it. There we go. I probably don't have another trap on me. Now for this one, I did do a kill quest. You'll see that you get the same amount of experience for the kill and the trap. Um, the only reason I'm saying do the trap is because you'll save time uh, not having to kill it all the way as well as in the actual finishing of the hunt. Uh, it's 20 seconds versus 60 seconds. Uh, now, you can kill these things really quick as well, so it's really up to you if you want to kill or trap them. If you don't feel like wasting the traps, you don't really have to. So the only way that this isn't the fastest way to level up is if you can't kill a Jagras in less than two minutes or if you can kill an Elder Dragon in less than eight minutes. Now I know that there are people out there that can kill el tempered Elder Dragons in less than eight minutes and there's probably people out there that can't kill a Jagras in two minutes. Now that being said that's not going to be the majority of people on either spectrum. So all in all, the killing of the Jagras or the Zitsuyaku or really anything that you can kill in under a minute that might be a lower rank is going to be the best way to level up your Hunter rank. Now, in a best case scenario, with all of the loading times calculated into it, I can do about a Deora quest in about 14 minutes. That's with the 60 second timer at the end, the loading of the quest, eating the food, and then actually loading into the zone. Now I could probably do the Deora quest without eating food, and you can also chain the investigations if you have them well inside of it, which will cut down on loading times. Uh, but with the Jagras, in best case scenario, it takes about a minute and 30 seconds. So I can do roughly 10 quests, or about 9.5 Jagras quests, in the time it takes me to do just one Deora quest. Now that doesn't seem like a major difference, but really it's about 30 to 40% more experience than doing the Tempered Elder Dragon quest. Now this could vary person to person, um, but if you're doing best case scenario, that really is the most efficient way to get Hunter rank. Now doing it this way is you're not standing any chance of some freak mishap and wasting a bunch of time dying on an Elder Dragon quest. Uh, while after farming them for so many times that you really, really have an issue with dying or you shouldn't. Um, but this is the most efficient way to do it. It might not be the most entertaining, but it will get you leveled up rather quickly. Now, that being said, you won't get a lot of the end game augmenting stuff doing it this way, so it might be good to get you up to Hunter rank 50. And then if you're really concerned about augmenting, uh, then you should be doing the Elder Dragon tempered quests. Um, but if you're really just trying to get to Hunter rank 100 as fast as you can, doing it this way really is going to be the most efficient way. Now, if anyone has any ideas out there for very quick ways to get experience, definitely leave them in the comments below. Now, I know there are quite a few people out there that can kill Tempered Elder Dragons very quickly, and this video isn't targeted for you. This is targeted for the average person, and I think this is a very, very efficient way to get experience. It might not be the most entertaining, but it is a very good way. Now, if anybody does have any good ideas, definitely leave them in the comments, and I will even put them to the test, because 
because I want to give out the best information possible. And after a bunch of testing, this is pretty much the best way I could find so far. Now, that doesn't mean I know everything. There's probably some things out there that I don't know. And I would love to inform everybody about that. So definitely comment down below if you feel so inclined. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. <laughs> and found it useful. If you did, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.